everybody, Dirk here with another video and for our Pixel Perfect series I'm going to show you guys how to make easy wallpapers for Project Zomboid. Now do I fully recommend stealing stuff from the internet? No, of course not. But for this tutorial I am going to do that and I found this nice wallpaper that I think would fit very well in Project Zomboid on wallsneedlove.com You can probably find some other website that has nice images as well. Now what I did, um, let's go back a second, get rid of this one. So I copy that in into Photoshop. Now I'm going to hit Ctrl T to transform. Um, and I'm going to make this image 25% the size of it, its original size. So it's easier to work with. That's 100% the only reason that I did it. And I'm going to hold Alt and move it and snap it next to it so I can see if it loops. Now it doesn't, as you can see there's no line here in the... Uh, I have no clue what the English word for this shape is. Um, okay, let me let me translate it. The diamond, yeah, no, okay, sure, that makes sense. All right, the diamond shape right here is a little bit smaller than the rest, so we're gonna go and fix that. So we're gonna delete this one again, so we just have one file to work with. And for my convenience, this thing is loopable um, right here. I mean, that, 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 that's in my favor right here because it's an easy loopable pattern. So I'm just going to cut off the sides and see if this loops. There we go. But it, it's a little bit thick compared to the other one. Like it's one pixel thicker. So again, get rid of that one, Control Z, and then take off that one pixel. No, is that one pixel? That is one pixel, right? I think if I take this one off, I loop it, it will look good. There we go. Now that it loops, I can use this as my file to work with. And I'm just going to copy it to the top as well. And now this one doesn't loop either, but I, I kind of like the offset that we have here. So I'm going to stick with that. I'm just going to put a whole bunch of them on top of each other, merge those layers. I think that will work. And I copy it into my work file, which is this already has a bunch of backgrounds and my reference backgrounds, which are older ones from my tile pack. I think these are actually from the Russian pack that I was allowed to use thanks to uh, Zuvudok. So thank you for allowing me to use those. Thing is, those don't really matter. I just have them up as a reference for where, for where the walls and the doors and the windows are on a sheet. I'm gonna paste this in. Of course, it's it's huge, and I'm just gonna move it over and snap the corner to that little corner over there. Now I'm gonna hit Control T again, which is Photoshop specific. Hold Shift. So it, like okay. In Photoshop, if you have Ctrl T, the transform menu open, and you scale, you can scale it in whatever direction you want. But if you hold Shift, it's going to keep the aspect ratio the same way, so you can go up and down without it, it you know, stretching. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scale it down by a ton, just to the point where the right side matches the right side of the reference wall. I hit enter um, and that's good because it's exactly the width of the wall I'm gonna hit ctrl T again right click and then skew and move this one up to 26.7 now if you if you're not that precise you can go up here and actually do it manually so minus 26.7 get it to fit the wall that looks pretty decent so I'm going to use the magic wand tool, which I explained in previous videos, where I select outside of my reference stuff to select everything outside. And then I go back to my image I'm working on and hit delete. So it deletes everything that's outside of the wall. Now I'm going to alt drag this one to copy the layer. And so I have another one. And then control T, right click, flip horizontal to mirror it, hit enter and put it in place. I uh, merge those two layers down, make a copy, and I move it to the right. They probably don't have this little menu here with commands that you can do to easily uh, 
move things around, but you can always just copy it by hand and put it in place like that. I have a whole bunch of layers. I'm gonna merge all these layers, so we just have these. And for this corner piece, there's a neat, nice little trick. You have this highest pixel here, take half of that, go up, and then delete the overhang piece, and then we do the opposite on this side. So, so instead of deleting that side, we delete this side, delete it there, move this over, and that's how we get an easy fit for that piece, so that's nice. And I remember, or I actually forgot to do something, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I select these, and select half of this. Oh boy, that's way too much. Half, that's too precise. I'm gonna make these a little bit darker. Actually, that doesn't look good. Let's do it with Control U and just decrease the lightness a little bit. So we have a little bit of a color difference. Now, this is something you should have done when you just made the copy. So you have two and you just make the one darker and then you copy them over instead of doing it afterwards. That would have been a smart move. I'm not that smart. Um, for this last piece, the only thing you need to do is grab two pixels from this one. So it's one, two, those two. Copy those over by, again, I'd use alt drag, put those in there. And as you can see, this is one, two, three, four pixels on the other side. So we're gonna copy four pixels from this one. And put, oh, put that in here. So that's how we fix that little piece. That looks good. And we have a nice little wall. From my reference image, if you're using Throttle Kitty's image, there's also different reference walls in there. I'm just gonna select uh, with contiguous on the top pieces, create a new layer, and make them a dark color to start. And that looks pretty good. I don't see, oh, there's a couple stray pixels there. Let's get rid of those. I'm sure there's no, oh yeah, I think they're everywhere. Quickly get rid of those little pixels. And we should probably make this a color that's more fitting of the wall. It's probably something like that. Color in the little gaps that we missed with the selection. That's good. Oh, that's actually good. I think that looks decent. All right, I'm gonna select my empty space in my reference image again without contiguous. So it also selects the windows. And then I can just hit the delete and I have a nice cutout for my wall. I'm gonna hide the reference. Interesting, where did I take that from? All oh, right, let's get rid of that. Let's make sure we don't have any stray stuff going on. Um, I think it's a little bit bright, so I'm gonna hit Control U, or when I say bright, I mean colorful. So I hit Control U to open the U and saturation menu decrease the saturation a little bit. Maybe I wanna do a different color. I think that's a little bit better. I think that will look nice. I'm gonna hit Control S, I'm gonna re-show all my other walls. I'm gonna save this out and get it in game. Alright, so we are in the editor now. I can make a little room. And actually, let's add it as an interior wall. So double click that, and I can just look for the wall. Just drag this in here, and it'll add it. I can do the same thing for all the other ones, but that should be fine. And then we go up to where they are. We can just select it. I think that looks horribly, but horribly good in a good way. And that looks nice. It's a little bit trippy, but uh, yeah. That's how you make a quick wallpaper for Project Zomboid. But using an image from the internet. Is that the way to do it? I don't know, you could draw these yourself. I don't recommend you stealing stuff, but I think this is uh, 
decent. As always, if you like my videos and want to support me, you can support me on Patreon. Or you can like and subscribe to these videos and just show your support that way. I don't like do whatever you want to do, and I hope you have a very nice day. Very, very nice day.